Racism is literally part of the landscape in America. Lakes, rivers, and hills have been known by racist names for hundreds of years. The N-word and other racist names are featured prominently. Many racist individuals have streets, schools, and towns named for them. Known in the United States as Christopher Columbus, he is honored across the country and has his own national holiday. Columbus started the slavery and genocide by Europeans against Native Americans that has lasted 500 years. He also paved the way for African slavery in the New World. This man was a slave owner who got rich from the labor of his slaves. He owned more than 200 slaves in his lifetime. Thomas Jefferson did not believe in his own words when he authored the phrase, All men are created equal. Nathan Bedford Forrest was a slave owner from Tennessee who became a Confederate general during the Civil War. Forrest was in command at the Fort Pillow Massacre when dozens of African-American soldiers were murdered as they tried to surrender. After the war, Forrest became one of the leaders of an emerging terrorist organization called the Ku Klux Klan. Today, Forrest is honored with many statues and memorials throughout the United States, including a statue at the Tennessee Capitol Building. A town in Arkansas is also named for him. Perhaps the most ironic tribute to this man is N.B. Forrest High School in Florida, attended by mostly African-American students. In November of 1915, a small group of white supremacists gathered at Stone Mountain, Georgia, and burned a cross as they pledged their loyalty to the Ku Klux Klan. Within ten years, the Klan had four million members and its own official candy bar. Today, Stone Mountain is a huge tourist attraction on state-owned land. Carved into the side of the mountain is a huge statue of Robert E. Lee, Stonewall Jackson, and Jefferson Davis. Today's visitors to Stone Mountain can play golf, listen to a country-western concert, and celebrate white supremacy all in one location. Gutsum Borglum was a sculptor who was originally commissioned to design the monument at Stone Mountain. Borglum was also a clansman who was obsessed with the mongrelization of the white race. Borglum later designed a huge monument to four white supremacists in South Dakota. Today, the Borglum Visitor Center near Mount Rushmore honors his memory. White America has a long tradition of fighting against freedom and publicly honoring the oppressors. Change is coming slowly. In 1983, a national holiday honoring Martin Luther King Jr. was established in the United States. In the United States, there are now three African American history museums named for Harriet Tubman. There are at least three Rosa Parks memorials. The National Underground Railroad Museum and the Muhammad Ali Learning Center opened in Cincinnati and Louisville, respectively. The Selma-Montgomery Civil Rights Highway in Alabama was dedicated. The National Civil Rights Museum is in Memphis, Tennessee. And a hill in New Mexico with a formerly racist name is now known officially as Buffalo Soldier Hill. The government will always try to co-opt our heroes. The same government that brutally oppressed civil rights now pretends to honor leaders of the civil rights movement. Who is recognized in your community? Who has a street, a school, or a statue named in his honor? Who is degraded or excluded? Who controls history? The answers may surprise you.